Dig into this chart, see what's going on here, and uh, and check this thing out. Whoops, I wanted that a little bit bigger. I guess it already was there. There we go. Okay, so we're going to see what's going on here. I mean, if we put a VWAP on this thing from the very top of the move, you can see we're down below the VWAP now. All right, I got a price level that uh, you guys should be very paying very, very close attention to. All right, and I'm going to bring that up here in a second. I believe that's going to be a bottom and uh, could get a heck of a bounce from here. Already posted this out in Discord. Uh, them guys over there are already on this. So um, I'm going to get this out to you guys in the videos. Speaking of Discord, let me show you, uh, let me show you a couple things here from Discord. Let's pull this up. Well, let's go over into the files here real quick. I just want to show you what's been going on just today because, uh, you know, I talk about this quite a bit, but um, we have 100, I think 149 members now over there. So um, I think it's just important that, you know, you guys see what's going on here. Here we go. I apologize. Today, 254. Here we go. Of Mexi, and these are just a couple of them, guys. That uh, is going on over there. It's pretty crazy. Um, just want to give you an idea: 331 percent on a Shib Long. That's on a 25x, 702 bucks. Um, it, it's crazy. I mean, this is pretty much every single day. Not, and not every day goes in your favor as far as that goes. There's a Pepe Long for 25x, uh, 152 percent. Um, you know, and all you got to do is sign up for a level three membership, which gets you uh, 20 plus videos, nine hours of videos to teach you how to trade, and it gets you into the Discord. The Discord alone is worth that, man. If you can come over here and get numbers like this, I mean, you're gonna uh, you're gonna make your uh, $15 back in no time. 15 bucks is uh, is fairly cheap, if you ask me. I see places out there that. You're gonna pay four or five hundred dollars just to get into Discord. So there's just a few of them. Um, Eighty-one percent long on Ape, eight hundred thirty-one dollars. So just wanted to show you guys that it's not you know a scam. There's the, some very very good traders over there. Um, guys, the guys are killing it every single day. You know, and if you don't know much about trading, go watch the videos and then go over there and watch what these guys do. Um, it's it's impressive every day every day 24 hours a day there's normally people in there uh, like i said we have 140 some members now so if you're interested please sign up for a level three would love to have you okay let's go over here and take a quick look at bitcoin we measured this move out from this wedge here all right and this wedge you know, pretty got it pretty close okay now the measured move out of that wedge would have been right up at uh, 66 roughly 66 8 okay this thing now is up um, you know 67 6 you know so it's either starting to maybe run out a bit a little bit of gas you can see it's way above the VWAP a breakout of the VWAP I haven't talked a whole lot about the VWAP in my videos I don't use it a whole lot but it's another tool to see what direction uh, things are heading you know you can use them for breakouts and stuff like that I, I do like using the tool but I don't I don't put it on videos very often now a trend based fib extension you know if this is a one two it, obviously your third wave is your longest that would sure look like it to me uh, go from a swing low to the swing high back to the retracement this would put wow look at that right back up uh, towards the previous all-time high Let's stretch this out so we can see it when we zoom out and, and get a look here at this. Put it on the monthly. All right, uh, 69. That would officially, if this falls through, that would give us a new all-time high. Unbelievable. And uh, we're just in the beginning of March. Unbelievable. I mean, that is a, you know, these candles... Um, or um, that is a bullish engulfing candle. There's a bullish engulfing candle. Um, they're not just little little uh, candles on here. These are pretty massive moves that Bitcoin is making. Does the ETF have something to do with it? Quite, quite possibly. You know, and we'll put a line up there to see if it uh, if it slows down up there. But this, if this is a one, two, three, four, five, you would expect a three to run out of gas pretty soon have a fourth wave pullback and then a fifth wave up but hard to believe that in march 
we could possibly have a new all-time high coming. This didn't happen the last bull run until, uh, I believe it was October. Um, so uh, pretty impressive with Bitcoin right now. And if we go over here, want to see what else is going on. Look at Bitcoin dominance on the daily. Look at this thing jumping. All right, now if we zoom out, obviously we have been watching for a level to come in here up at this uh, 618 or 702 and it's getting up there. If it gets up to the 618, that's a 60% uh, Bitcoin dominance, you know, which unbelievable. Yeah, we'll see. But um, I mean, it's following a trend line up through here. Put a trend line on there and, and follow it up. You know, as long as it rides trend, it, it's still going here. So uh, I'm watching for this 618. Possibly a 702 up at 63%. It could come up there. But the big thing is, if it gets rejected here, you're looking at a fall for this thing down around 25.5%. 25.5%. Can you imagine what that's going to do for the altcoins? They are going to absolutely smash it. Um, yeah, it's it's going to be absolutely fantastic. So it can go ahead and keep running up. That is absolutely fine. I will be watching for the 618. I'm going to put an alarm on that thing just in case I would miss it. We're going to create an alarm so it's on there. All right, if we come down through here real quick, uh, Bitcoin, the Dow Jones, we're staying pretty steady, you know, out on this weekly I've showed you guys this before with the uh, the trend based, uh, well, just the regular Fibonacci, you know, the full the full 4.236 extension. It's heading up past it now. On the monthly, the RSI at a 199 bearish divergence. Right here, you have this high, you have a lower high. On the weekly, uh, 95 and a 96 bearish uh, term rolling over. I, I spoke of this, you know, is this where Bitcoin will have, you know, its big pullback when it comes back down here and retraces and tries to, uh, you know, retest this previous all-time high now as support. You can see right here, it, it almost came back and tested it, but never did. Usually these things will run up and, uh, you know, and come back and do a retest. Grab this here. You know, they'll run up and then come back and do a retest of this as support and then bounce off there. So, you know, this could be our pullback for Bitcoin and then uh, then our takeoff, you know. And, and it's hard to say how long this could last, you know, but eventually it's going to. Um, let's move on down through here, the Dow. Uh, let's take a look here real quick. Uh, the Dixie. Where's it at here? There it is. DXY. Geez, we're really forming out. Looks like a head and shoulders forming, don't it? Sure does to me. I mean, if this uh, right shoulder continues forming out, um, you know, that would definitely be a head and shoulders pattern. You know, and you can take and uh, rate your tolls over here. It has uh, head and shoulders patterns right, right here. Head and shoulders. You know, you would take... Uh, this would be a shoulder, All right? Then your head, and then your right shoulder forming out. You know, this one here. There we go. Yeah, you know, it. Uh, if it ends up coming rolling back down here, you got a head and shoulders, which is bearish for the DXY. Okay. Uh, you would take the measured move of that from the top of the head to the neck, add it on the bottom of the neck here, and that would give you a, a target. All right, one more I do want to see is the S&P 500. And these all tie back into crypto, guys. Any of you that, uh, you know, um, get frustrated because I show some of this stuff, you really got to understand that all of this ties back into the crypto market. The S&P 500 is almost at a full extension here super super close looks like a wave four pullback and then your fifth wave extension here where could this fifth wave go well let's take a look normally if you put a fib on top of your fourth wave pull it down you'd be looking for a target right up here 
5636 all right we'll leave that on there and uh but normally that'll give you your fifth wave target works like a charm man i use it all the time especially if i'm trading and i'm looking for a, t a possible target for a fifth wave where to get out it works great absolutely 100 percent. i used it on bitcoin last night and uh um, yeah, this thing works fantastic, uh, that, uh, the FIB. So you'll learn that over there with the level three membership. Um, and that'll, uh, teach, that'll teach all that stuff. All right, let's take a look here. Look at that. Look at the total, the crypto total market cap has made it through the 702 FIB level. Unbelievable. That is fantastic. You can see a one, two, trend based fib let's put it on here and look that would give it that would give it a new all time high 3.13 trillion and that's just that would be just the start okay um, I expect this thing to head up uh, you know for the for the bull run you know up around 10 10 and a half trillion dollars that would be a full 4.36 extension. And it, like I said, guys, I teach you all this stuff to look for targets in your tokens. Not everybody holds the same coins. You're going to want to know where to sell. I mean, you're going to want to know that. You can't guess. What if it goes up another 300%? The, the tools that I show you with that level 3 membership will show you where to look for targets for your tokens. All right, so if this is a 5 wave up, this would be a first 5 wave up here. Um, uh, this is the target here. We're going to mark that right there. And we need one more. The total two. Where is it at? It is at a 50% retracement. This is the total market cap ex excluding Bitcoin. All right. So you can see it's up at a 50%. And you can see the same pattern here. One, two, doing a wave three. Will that get this a new, a new all time high? no just short all right which that that's fine uh 1.46 trillion this would be the altcoins all right if it runs up uh right from here that is another what is that another 35 percent or 33 and a half percent up okay um yeah it's 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 gonna get a lot of fun guys this year i cannot believe this is the beginning of march and all this is happening last time back here if we go back to uh 2020 you can see there's january march the bitcoin having we had covid the bitcoin having was right here okay and then this thing started up but we didn't have any kind of retracement on this thing put a fib on here and look all right from way up here down we came up and hit a two three six that was it that is all it had and it rolled over you had you obviously you had covid here um then everything started moving here but nothing like this you compare these two i mean this is ridiculous okay this is uh what is that's the february candle the february candle back there look at it right there right there and even all of them i mean are tremendously bigger tremendously bigger i think we have probably an epic bull run that is gonna you know there's there's nothing that we've probably ever seen like this okay this was uh february 2024 there right here is february 2020 that red candle of course like i said we had covid through here but these candles are blow they eat this one candle eats all of these together you know it we didn't see moves starting to like that till uh november of 2020 october november then it really started taking off we're almost at the previous all-time high last time that, that didn't happen until december of 2020 right there okay if we take this off here right here december of 2020 we are so far ahead i mean where's this headed i mean in all seriousness i mean is a bitcoin etf really doing this I got a very interesting article over here I got to show you guys. 
Don't know if you heard about it or not. Coinbase sees a massive 1 billion Bitcoin withdrawal. Amidst a Bitcoin bull run, Coinbase sees a massive withdrawal of roughly 16,000 Bitcoin. Uh, recent developments in the digital asset market have seen massive withdrawals from Coinbase. The event occurring on March 1st during Asia trading hours involved a transaction of approximately 16,000 Bitcoin or roughly $1 billion. Confirmation from multiple pl platforms including Sanimit, Arkham, and CoinGlass have validated the, the information. You, know, you can see on here, um, let's see here. According to data from Sanimate, Coinbase saw a significant drop in holdings, falling from approximately 398,000 Bitcoin to 381,000. That's unbelievable. And if they took them off the exchange, then they're obviously not interested in selling them. That, that's a good sign. Okay, the substantial withdrawal comes at a time when Bitcoin has been experiencing a considerable surge, trading well above $60,000. So I thought that was pretty cool. One billion, sixteen thousand Bitcoin, one billion dollars taken off Coinbase. That that was pretty cool. All right, over here on Casper, FYI, check out the wallets here. Hope everybody's having a great day out there, man. We're looking for this bottom over in Discord for uh, Casper to come in and take a massive long on this thing. We've been just killing it. I, <laughs> I got to tell you this story. There's a trader over there this morning. Um, unbelievable. He 153 x uh, his money in, I don't know, less than 24 hours on, on 200 x leverage. 150, I think it was 159 x it. Anyway, uh, turned like a couple hundred bucks into uh, like 30 grand, a lot. It was unbelievable. That, that's an impressive trade. You know, that's what I mean. There are some very, very good traders over there. All right, let's take nothing big here to see. 181 pound of hash, about normal. Top addresses. Let's see if there's any major uh, discrepancies here or additions or subtractions or whatever we're looking for. Sorry if you hear my chimes in the background. It's a beautiful day here. It's like, I don't know, 60s, close to 70. Got the windows open. Just a gorgeous day. All right. Not last 24 hours, minus 10 sharks. Uh, last 30 days, minus 4 whales. Kind of expected this. I said if this one low that w was taken out, we were doing an ABC. And we took that low out. So this isn't much of a shock here. But the last 30 days, um, you can see the last seven days, we've added two whales and one humpback. Still got that one Aquaman down there. Um, and let's take a look down here real quick. That's your percentages here, the top 10,000 addresses. This wallet here holds uh, 115 million in cash, but your number one and that one is uh, Gate.io. Then you got Mexi with 78 million. Uphold Mexi. I like. I I do like Mexi. I use them a lot. I'll put a description in, in the uh, in the video description here. I'll put a link over there. I'd appreciate it if you use it. it. Helps me out a little bit. Every little bit helps me. You know, with a small channel. So I appreciate it so much, guys. But uh, you can see the biggest wallet up here, 165 million. Um, I'm sure that's probably Casper themselves. One billion tokens. That's your Aquaman right there. That's that one Aquaman. All right, let's head over to Coin Glass. There it is right there. All right, 24 hour liquidations. 388.7 million. That's up 37.83%. Open interest. Look at that. 65 and a half billion. Look at that has doubled in the last few weeks. 65 and a half billion. You think there's not going to be a washout here pretty soon? Uh, that's uh, up another almost 7%. Look at the volume. 279.1 billion. That is up 70% since yesterday. That is awesome. I love seeing that. That means a lot of people are coming into the market. 200 and just about $280 billion. 
plus 70 percent then if you come down here the volume last 24 hours the biggest gainers were Qtum. wow look at kishu another meme coin the meme coins are really popping right now guys you know and you're taking your chance i guess but uh, you know maybe throwing a hundred bucks at one that hasn't popped yet it could be a could turn out being a good idea because it seems like all of them are, are uh, taken off here. Um, Lever six hundred percent, Argo five seventy two, uh, one thousand bit torrent uh, five hundred percent. Yeah, got some pretty decent uh, bonk rats that that one thousand rats. Boy oh boy, try try. Oh, there it is down here. I, I traded that for a little bit there. Um, the only thing with leverage trading some of these meme coins, the volatility and the wicks are absolutely horrendous sometimes. You know, if you can get yourself far enough ahead of the game, uh, that means a very good entry that you don't got to worry about the wicks so much. It's not too bad, but um, that's why I don't really like getting in some of these... Uh, uh, meme coins the volatility is just crazy all right let's move on through here let's uh, head over to the crypto bubbles take a look here for the day yeah there you go again meme coins shib pepe bonk doge uh sats is that a meme coin i uh, probably one and a half billion dollar market cap uh xcc i remember this these guys been around for a while number 86 now and where is caspa at here caspa 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 unbelievable just one time be nice just to find it myself okay yes rank number 35 down three spots 3.73 billion dollar market cap 24 hour volume 103.2 million all right, for the day, we're down 2.7%. And we're going to go look at that chart right now. we got some interesting uh, interesting stuff going on here. Okay, we had, uh, that was that wick. You know, that that Bitcoin wick that day. That's what that ended up being. All right, now, if we go on to 12 hour, you can see realistically the low was right here okay that, that was that was our low i said if we took that out um we were more than likely ending up doing an a a b and a c all right what's a target for that c level well let's take and put a fibonacci on here go from your high to your low all right you can see a 702 close up here all right uh sometimes it's a 618 sometimes it's the 702 all right that's where uh that's where you can get a little bit of a discrepancy on a bottom all right if we use the 618 that would bring us down let's see right there all right at about 14.6 and that is the uh 618 so we're going to turn that blue now if you end up using the 702 Put this back up here. 702 was right up here. That's going to give you a shorter target. Right, right about there. Right about 15 cents on the dot. Okay, and we're going to turn that green. All right, now let's get rid of this. Now, if you go out here on a daily chart and you're looking, you know, for a possible. Uh, where could these pull back to? Well, we could go from our swing low here up. Let's see how where that puts us. I don't like all of them wicks, but we'll go from the lowest one up. All right, in a 618 and a 702. All right, a 702 puts us right down here around that uh, 149. Uh, 49 15 cent area right down there and uh, of course this other one would put us through the 786 all right so I would be kind of bet more on this 15 cent area as a bottom but uh, when this thing does bottom all right when you get when this thing finishes out a B 
all right let's say here it's at 15 cents okay that ABC's signify a bottom all right then this thing is going to start marching its way back up these are great entries to get because if you can time them right and you can get that entry the the gains can be unbelievable all right uh, that that's that's the good thing about these things the the gains are unreal especially when you get in on a perfect entry now if this thing ends up get this back up here at 702 that was right down and around here we need to come down just a hair more right there okay so right around that 15 cent area here now your stop loss of course you know me personally if, if I was getting in this and this is not financial advice I'm not a financial advisor guys that is not what I do I would put it below the 786 just to give yourself a little bit of room in case it does come down uh, to the 146 area if that's the target and it grabs that but then your stop loss is way below uh, you know where you could get the uh, stopped out there and uh, and ride this sucker up man it uh i'm sure it's going to be a nice move out of here and let's see here you know if the 702 ends up being the target all right we'd be looking at starting another five waves up from here is what would be happening all right we had five waves right here let's get this off here you can clearly see those moves up here we had one two three four five let's see how the trend base fit worked on that what kind of target did it give low to the high to the retracement pretty decent you know had a blow off top here but one two three four five you know would have got you out at sixteen eight you know if you followed this and quite honestly when it starts getting up to the extension I like using a trailing stop loss to lock in profits and uh, you know if it wicks me out or whatever whatever I'm, I'm in the green um, please if you're using leverage guys use a stop loss a stop loss is so important uh, you don't understand if you just go to bed and let your trade run overnight without a stop loss you could wake up in the morning with nothing left I mean literally nothing left in your account it's simple to put a stop loss in there's nothing to it um, right when you open up your trade it says uh, in fact I had a demo account open just to show you all right this is a, a demo account over on Mexi. well I'm going to actually open one up here just for the sake of the video let's go like this let's hit open long it's a market trade so it's going to open it immediately we'll hit confirm okay there now we have a position open all right immediately well there's thirty six thousand dollars in this account but it's immediately down 220 bucks all right so now how, how to put a stop loss in you just hit add and you can go with uh, uh, ROE return on investment for your stop loss or your take profit all right so your stop loss whatever if you put uh, three percent in which would you'd lose one thousand eighty two dollars and your take profit if you wanted to put it at fifty percent I'm just going to show you just for the sake of example hit confirm all right now you can see our stop loss pretty tight I'd move it down obviously if I was trading this and your take profit would be is way up here all right now obviously this is breaking down so I probably should have took a short out of it, it looks like it's doing five waves down one two three four and it probably has one more wave down here all right but that's how simple it is to put in a, a stop loss and a take profit all right and if you're looking for a uh, I don't know four to one ratio or whatever you're doing what whatever you're doing all right you can get in here and uh, you know like a four to one okay you put your stop loss at uh, 25 percent and put your take profit at a hundred percent okay that would be a four to one ratio or how, however you want to do it whatever you want to risk okay so you just don't risk your whole account right off the bat that's not a smart thing to do okay just uh stick to your plan if you plan on losing 
$25 a trade worked it out where it's 25 bucks a trade uh, if you you know and uh, but that's where leverage can come in all right now see on this account here there's 34,000 left available now if I jack this up for t uh, 10x leverage that gives me three hundred and forty five thousand nine hundred and seventy six dollars worth of buying power off of uh, thirty four thousand bucks that's the power of leverage okay it can the only problem is you pay higher fees when, when the trades done you pay uh, you pay the fees on three hundred and forty five thousand nine hundred and fifty okay so that's that's where they get you um, which it hey if they're gonna loan you the money and you win the trade whatever that that's the, that's the price of business but that's how easy it is guys I'll put a link for Mexi in the description of the video and uh, you can go over there and try it out if you'd like and, you know sign up for the level three watch your trading videos and then come out and join us um, now you can see a resistance starting there that's probably the perfect spot to get in that short usually these will come down bounce back up this is your entry and then you ride it down that's usually exactly what happens let's close that out all you do is hit flash close if you want to close the trade immediately confirm it and you'll see it'll close it right up so there you go that's how easy it is on Mexi. all right now over back over here on caspa all right if this was the first if this was the five waves up all right it ended up blowing off a little bit higher no big deal the trend based fib absolutely love it all right if this abc that we were talking about a b c and you nail this bottom with a long i plan on having an entry down here and if i nail this bottom and it starts another five waves up i'm going to ride it for a while all right even back up to there is 25% I, usually I'll use 10 to 20 X leverage 20 X leverage all right uh, would be uh, four hundred and fifty percent which would mean I would four and a half X my money off a 25 percent move all right and if this is gonna start another five waves up uh, four hundred and fifty percent you know four and a half X in your money just in that move that's the power of leverage you know a lot of people don't like it a lot of people love it it all depends on how you use it if you use it responsibly and smart it can be a super super valuable tool all right now let's take a look at something here all right this next set of moves up we're out on a daily all right this next targets up here and we're in uh go out on a weekly here yeah we're in unchartered territory here okay so our next set of targets after this abc bottoms out okay boy i would love to see that abc come right down to this support right here especially on a weekly these that would be a confluence that uh that would be fantastic wow all right and if you have a uh if you have your stop loss right below this weekly support, wow, that, that would be a very good spot um, to have it. I highly, highly doubt that that is going to be taken out, okay? That is a very strong support. You have a closing candle, closing candle. Uh, you have some wicks and a little bit of stuff through here. You have another area right there, a very strong support. But the, the further you go out on your time frames, the stronger the support areas okay so watch for caspa to come back down to uh roughly around the 15 cent area possibly a little higher here it depends on where this abc ends up stopping and then expect it to reverse and start heading back up now the rsis the weekly still bullish a 70 and a 62 the daily uh right at the bottom perfect you know perfect for a reversal all right you get to pull down here to the 15 or whatever then your daily ticks back up the 12 hour let's see where it's at here oops i apologize we'll get back on here in just a second just gonna adjust my laptop here i should brought my wi-fi extender out here but uh pretty important we see these RSI's so just give me one second here it'll load right back up I had to move it for a second huh there we go okay good we're back on 
Alright. There we go. Sorry about that. Jeez, man. All right, so we had the daily reset, the 12 hour. The 12 hours reset. Okay, the daily's at the bottom. The eight hour is at the bottom. And uh, your four hour. How's that for a, a reversal? Um, you know, this, this. I believe that this move up is going to be epic. I am just hoping that I did not miss it right here and it, uh, the sea leg pulled up short. But normally, these your A wave is going to be equal length to your C wave. So I am holding my entry down here at uh, 15 and, and hoping and praying that it bounces back down here. I do not want to miss this move. This could end up uh, being a very, very good move down here. Now, let me see something here. Right up here, okay. This was that Bitcoin wick, I believe, that day. Yeah, up to the 702. Pull it down on top of the 702. Yeah, puts us right down there at that 15 cents. I just believe we still have room to come down. You know, it started bouncing here a little bit and uh, on the one hour, and it really had me double guessing myself a little bit here. Now, if we go on the eight hour, of course, we didn't even have to go on the 8. You could see it on the 12, uh, the 618 there that I was talking about that quite possibly um, the 618 is the other area. You know, if you pull it down on top of the 618, then you're looking at 14.7. That was the other area. All right. And I'm just trying to pound this in you guys' heads because this, this could be a very, very big move. I'm just trying to really uh, look out for you guys. You know, if I could care less, I would just move on. Now, the next price targets up from here after we get this reversal is going to be 19.6. Once we take that out, 22.7. All right. I would probably going to do five waves up here. And this move could end up being big. The next one up after that is 27 cents. And if you ride this out the whole way to the top, if it runs up to the whole way to the top and you come and take it from uh, down here at 15 cents and you ride that thing the whole way to the top, 85 and a half percent, okay? Which equals 85 and a half percent. Let's look at this. Just call it uh, 85, all right? 85% times, uh, let's say, uh, 10x leverage means you will 8.5x your money. 85% on 20x leverage means you will 17x your money. So you could possibly... You know, and nothing's guaranteed, guys. It's not financial advice. Please do not uh, say, oh, he said it was going to hit here and, and go to the moon. Please do not put big, huge money on this. Don't put anything on it more than you can afford. All right, but 85% um, at 20x, you could 17x your money. That means if you throw in a thousand bucks, just this one trade, you could end up making 17 grand. Or if you throw in a thousand bucks off this one trade, uh, you could end up uh, 85 times 10. I should know that 850. Means you could eight and a half extra money. So not too bad. Even even a uh, you know if you throw a hundred dollars at it, you can end up with uh, 1600 by the end of the trade, or you can end up with 850. Either way you look at it, really good gains. And uh, you would make your money back very fast for, uh, you know, getting a level three membership. So, all right, guys, big things to come from CASPA. Keep your eye open on these price areas down here. Me, myself, I'm getting in at 15. If it comes down here, so be it. My stop loss is going right below here, right below that uh, weekly support. And uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'll be back with you tomorrow. We'll see how this works out, how it's working out, and uh, keep an eye on it. Hey, have a great day, everybody. Please hit the like and subscribe. I'd appreciate that so very, very much, guys. You guys are the best. I, there's one more thing I believe I had on here before I go. I wanted to show you. 
And I guess nothing real important. We ran up here and got rejected off this bottom trend line. That's the that's that was the biggest thing. Um, you know, one of my friends over there in the trading group, he uh, he had a Caspa long there, and I I really I I really try to watch out for people. If I don't have advice that I wouldn't give myself, then I don't give it out in the group either. You know, I had some people ask me about Pepe yesterday. I, I've been wrecked by that thing myself, and I don't feel comfortable giving advice on it. You know, I just don't. You know, I, and I hope people understand that. I don't want to give you the wrong advice just because uh, I think it's going to do this. The volatility in that thing is uh, is absolutely horrendous. If we come over here, let me show you. Pepe. All right, now let's go in on a 15-minute uh, chart. All right, this is nothing. All right, but if I pull it up over here, let's go on Mex C and pull it up once. The volatility in these things is absolutely crazy. If it if it has an on leverage trading on uh, the demo, yeah. Pepe community. Let's see if it uh, if it's the same over here or not. Here we go. And this is on a hourly, let's go in a 15 minute. And take a look here. All right, well the volatility is uh, is not uh, so shabby here right now, I guess. You know, but some of these, uh, like Bonk, the other day I tried to get a, a long in on that and uh, the wicks were just incredible, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Just one move could have wiped you out. So, all right, guys, thank you so very, very much. Please hit the like and subscribe. It helps out a lot. Uh, to all the members, thank you so much, guys. You, I love you. You're the best. And, uh, excuse me, you really keep this channel going. And I, I can't thank you enough. I really can't. I mean, you guys have made my dream come true with, uh, with doing YouTube videos. And... Uh, Thank you. I, I, I appreciate it more than you know. Every single one of you. Andy, Andy, you've been here since day one. I will never forget that name as long as I live. My very first member, and you've been with me ever since, man. Going on seven months. So thanks, Andy. Uh, and, and there's a lot of you guys that... Uh, but I'll just never forget Andy. He was my very first member. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter how big you get and how many people you get in a group. Um, I'll never forget him, ever, you know, and, and hopefully he's here forever. Um, so, all right, have a great day, everybody. I'll talk to you soon.